All right, everyone, I've got an amazing cardio and abs workout for you. Just finished, feeling so sweaty, so strong. Make sure you grab your sliders if you have them. We've got 30 second work periods today. Three rounds of two exercises in a boot camp style. So back to back for three rounds, then a 30 second rest between our circuits and we have eight circuits total. So one combo of abs and cardio in every single one. I promise you're gonna love this one. You're gonna feel so connected with your core. Make sure you're exhaling and bracing, not just sucking in and not just bearing down, okay? Wrap your core and you're gonna get the most out of this workout, all right? Give me some intensity, grab your water, grab your sweat towel and let's crush it. Here we go, let's step it out side to side. Pull your arms back. Big deep breath in and welcome to your workout. Good job, pull your heel to your glute now. Open hips, butt kicks. I want you to be ready to push yourself today. We've got 30 seconds of work at a time, meaning dial your intensity up in that work period. Good, arms to the side, twist, twist. There you go, arms past your body and up. Open up your core, open up your lats. Good job, give me a march, tap. Good job, just another minute. Working on getting your heart rate up. Good, let's speed that up now. Low impact if you need to, just give me a quick march. Good job, take it back, hamstring kicks. One more each leg, and then we go hands on our hips, sink it back, forward. Good job, let's jog in place. Your first move is up here. You got three high knees and a hop. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? Three, two, let's go. So you just hold that knee, hop, hop. and move your arms. So make sure they're not crossing your body like this. Good work, 10 more seconds. Breathe, come on down. Left, right, middle, sit-ups. Come up to the left, come up to the right. Come up in the middle, just exactly like it sounds. Exhale, heels down, two, let's go. There you go, keep it up, nine. Last one, breathe. And you've got two more rounds of that circuit, okay? <sighs> Left, right. Three, two, here we go. One, two, three. Move your arms. Feel free to move around on the mat if you need to. Good, now try and speed that up a little bit. So one, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Good, breathe. Come on back to the sit-ups. A way to step up your sit-ups is maybe don't go all the way to the floor. So maybe you hover here, go left, halfway, right, halfway. Let's go.
And I say heels on the floor to make sure you're not kind of scooting to get up. Great work. All right, it's time, last round. This workout's gonna have a lot of good variety in it, so just stay present, stay moving at your highest intensity. Three and hop, ready? Let's go. Good job, come on, 10. Move your body, four. Beautiful. Sit-ups, last round. Then we'll take a 30 second breather. All right, connect with the core. Pull your rib cage down as you exhale. Let's go. Work it out. 10. Good work, four. And breathe for 30 seconds. That's your format for the rest of the day. A, B, A, B, A, B, rest. All right, next cardio move, butt kicks. You're moving this way, forward and backward down the mat. When you get to each end, drop into a squat. Kick, 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 kick. Drop into a squat, okay? We'll go in five. Great work. Each round one of every circuit, feel it out. Okay, what feels good to you? And breathe. Plank, drop down. So we're gonna go high plank, gonna go down, low plank, high plank. If you cannot do high plank right now, stay down on your elbows, tap out, tap out. Ready, come on. There's no rush here, it's keep your hips level. If you need to drop to your knees, that's okay too. Just don't keep your butt up in the air. What you wanna avoid is a really heavy swing with your hips. If yours look like this, lower to your knees. Think of a glass of water on your tailbone. Don't tip it off to the sides. Rest. All right, each of the next two rounds, Hips are more level every time, okay? And that's gonna help your core engage no matter what side you're dropping or raising on. Butt kicks, let's get it! A little bit of a forward lean will help here. Good job, come on. Seven. Two. Breathe. Come on down to a plank. Remember, glass of water on the tailbone, level hips. Two. Let's go. Also, try not to have your hands way out front. They come right where your elbows were. Five. 
five. Good job. Last round through, my friends. Lots of good variety in this workout. I like it a lot. I love you being here. I love you working hard. Come on, let's go again. Three, two. Move your arms, come on, eight. Down and up, quick. Boom, boom. Rest, good job. All right, last round of plank drop downs. We're plank push-ups. And let's go. Seconds rest. Breathe deep. Whew. All right, we're gonna have an incorporation of our sliders up next, if you have them, if you wanna use them. Okay, if you have an ab wheel, that's also an option. But we're gonna go heel taps with your cardio first. Okay, if you have sliders, get them out, put them near you. All right, front, front, back, back. Right here, two, one, let's go. Heel, heel, in the back, in the back. Now, if you get that, feel like, okay, I need a little more, speed it up. Boom, boom, back, back. Okay? It can be all right here if you want it to as well. Just giving you some good variety. Two, good job. Coming onto your knees. Hands or elbows are on the sliders. Now take them out. Pull your spine up, back in, okay? If you don't wanna do it with the slider, you walk out, walk back in. Let's go. What you don't wanna do is drop your chest and then let your butt scoot back. You get out there, curl your spine up and then pull back. Good job. Whew. Now, another option for that, if you don't wanna do those again, take it into a plank and then just reach your arms out further and hold that extended plank, okay? Just kinda of opening you up here, making you control that. Good work, in the front, in the front, in the back, in the back, keep it up. Breathe, good job. We're back to the rollouts. Some people might have an ab wheel that they don't use a lot. So if you want, pull that out. If you don't have sliders or an ab wheel, just give me an extended plank, nice and long. Let's go. Good job. This is a very focused one. Very concentrated. Hips or ribs are reaching up for your spine. Great work. One more round of both. Another option for those, of course, 
is to put them on your feet, take your feet away, come back in. Two, let's go. Just trying to get you into the place where you're really controlling your core. And it's not all about control. We do need resistance. In this case, body weight is our resistance. A long extended body, it's pretty tough to control. Get stronger at that. Move on to weighted planks. And then all your lifts feel more in control. Three, two, great work. All right, come on down. Last round here. If you can go out a little further, go for it, okay? Get out there and make sure you tuck here, okay? Chin to your belly, and let's go. Good job, eight. And breathe. Good work. Grab water. New challenge. For those of you who are just working on feeling stronger, things like this are so crucial. Adding a new challenge, adding something to get better at. We move on to standing mountain climbers and canoe flutters. So we're gonna lay over on our back, open our arms, flutter our feet. Okay, but we're starting up top, standing climbers. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go! Make them low impact just by giving me a skip. Beautiful work, you got nine. Perfect, come on down to the floor. Lay it on your back and start with your feet over your hips. Then you lower, okay? View of control here, lower slowly until you feel like, okay, this is my challenge. Let's go. Meaning I don't want you here and arching up and losing control, okay? Come back down, crunch up, lower to where you feel the work, but not the loss of control. Chop, 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 four. Beautiful. Come on up. You got that for two more rounds. Rock it out, make it your own. Work at 15. Keep that breath going in your rest. That's what the rest is for. Feet over your hips. Exhale, crunch up. Lower. Go, 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 go. I would love for you to flex your toe or point your toe so that your legs stay nice and strong and they don't get into the floppy situation. Good job, come on, six. Breathe, roll up, come on, last round. You know how hard you're working right now, keep that up. All right, we're finishing this one, rolling into second half of the workout, all right? Let's go. So knowing right now 
I'm in the home stretch after I finish this one. I need you to believe that you can go harder. I need that home stretch to be harder than your startup. You need that to be more. Okay, you invested your time, you're here, let's go. Good job, last one, come on down. I recommend about 45 degrees, short choppy. Exhale, let's go. Go, four. And 30 seconds to rest. Grab water. Come back up, jumping jacks with a punch and frog sit-ups. So what we're doing is just opening up the hip a little bit. Heels are together on the ground, you're shooting up through the middle. In which you have to work a little harder to keep the posterior rotation of your hips happening. As for right now, let's go. Good. And if you wanna step these up, you're hopping. You're giving me quick punches and you're getting off the ground. Land soft. I don't want you landing here, collapsing in, okay? Good job, go. Five. Three. Breathe, good job. All right, feet on the ground, open up. Work harder on keeping your low back down. All right. Let's go. Good job, breathe. Come on up. All right, punch jacks. Let's keep it up, ready? Three, hands here, you're doing awesome. Keep your heart rate up. Light on your feet, quick with your punches. Here we go. Four, come on, three. Breathe. Frog sit-ups. Four. Let's go. Try not to reach and swing too much unless you need to right now. If you can, keep your hands away from your chest. Reach and then roll down. Good job, breathe. Come on up for your last round. Whew. All right, quick and choppy steps here. Four, hands up. Three, two, one, go. Good job, nine, eight, five, 
five, two, breathe. Come on down. Last round of these sit-ups. Probably felt them a little more in your hips and lower belly area. Okay, push your heels into the ground. Two, one. Good, 10. Two, breathe for 30. You're doing fantastic. Grab water. Also feel free to jog in place. All right, four squat pulses, then we're gonna hop up out of that click our heels together. Then we come back down for bicycles, okay? So your four squat pulses on your toes. We go here, boom, 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 boom for four, click, okay? Let's go. You can have little baby hops if you would like as well. Four, three, two, one, up. Good, pull your arms back as you explode and extend your hips. Good job. Last one, four, three, two, up. Bicycles. All right, support your head here. Exhale as you come up and control the twist. Ready, let's get it. four and click and I use my arms to come up out of there and pull back so that I get out of that squat position and then go back in let's go four three two one up Good, come on, eight. Good job. Last one together, four. Breathe. Awesome. We're moving, come on. Keep the heart rate up. Keep working, keep working. Two, exhale. Great work. Last round of these two. All right, light on your feet, strong in your legs. Let's go. Good, make sure you're sitting your butt down, not just bending your knees. Okay, this motion, a lot of pressure on your joints. If you sit back, Work on your muscles, which is what we want it to be. Three, two, come on. And breathe. Good job. All right. Bicycles to close out. Circuit number six. We have eight total. 
finish this one, we'll rock right into seven. Let's go. Make sure you're not pulling on your neck, just supporting your head. Good five. Amazing, breathe for 30. Circuit seven, we're almost there. Keep this tempo up. Make sure you're breathing. Two circuits to go. Circuit number seven is a skip with a clap under your leg and then jackknives. All right, so we're here. Ready? Let's go, bring the knee up. If you can go faster, you still need that hand contact underneath. Five. Come on down. You're breathing deep, jackknives. Exhale, meet in the middle, control the opening. So don't let your legs slam down before your upper body. Exhale, go. See, like that? I lost control at the top. Okay, squeeze, release together. One more. Breathe, good job. All right, clap under the skip. You're doing amazing. You're breathing deep. Two, one. Nice work. Hands come under, which means core has to work to get your knee to hip level. Nine. Four. Breathe. Jack knives again. Big deep breath. Next exhale, lift it up. Let's go. Try to think of staying on your upper glutes. Five. Breathe. Come on over. Last round of cardio for this one. Round three of circuit seven. And we only have eight. So you gotta be full throttle right now. Ready? Fifteen seconds left. I'm gonna ask you to turn it up. Okay? Here we go. And quicker, go, go. Go, six. Breathe. Jack knives. Come on. One more big inhale. And exhale, go. <sighs> 
12. Five. Breathe. 30 seconds. Rest, grab water. We finish strong together. We've got a little slider core work. So have your sliders near you. We'll be in plank position with those on your feet. Cardio move, split squat hops. You're going here. Ready? Don't have to go all the way deep. Just split and drop. And what I'm going for is a little knee or shin tap, just to make sure I sit up. And if you want to speed that up, don't stop in the middle. Breathe. Sliders on your toes. We're going for plank jacks. Okay, so you're on your hands. Sliders on your toes and you're gonna open and close your feet. If you don't have sliders, you do the same thing. Open and close. Let's go. And if you need to dial it back, one leg at a time. Great work. Legs are gonna feel it a little bit here at the end, and that's okay. We gotta feel it to push through and get stronger and learn how to do that. Let's go. Are you breathing deep? Good. Me too. Seven. Push. Breathe. Grab your slider. And if you need to dial it back, maybe you just take the slider on your left leg for this round and then the opposite on the last round. Let's go. Come on, you're getting stronger, that's why you're here. Yes, it's hard, yes, you're strong. One more, let's go. Two, good job. Finish it out right here. One more round of both. Oh my gosh, you should be so proud. Show yourself that here. Ready? Come on, together. Tap and go a bit quicker. Last 15, go. Two, breathe. Okay, sliders, come on back in. You know where you're at here. Crush this finisher. 30 seconds. Exhale, let's go. There's no doubt in your mind that you're gonna finish this. Don't look at me, breathe. I'll tell you when to stop. Just keep going. Get into your body right now. 10. Nope, don't stop. No, don't drop. Up, up, up for five. We finish together. Two more. And 
breathe. You have made it to your cool down. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Share it with all your friends, all your family, so we can keep growing this community stronger together. You're on your hands and knees. Drop down to your elbows and then walk your elbows out. Let's just let our low back kind of relax here. A little dip. Good, exhale, come up, drop it forward. Open your chest up. You made it. You did something amazing for your health today. Now go out, spread that energy into what you do outside of here. Every single thing you do each day can create a ripple, okay? This start of a ripple is the push to make your day healthy, happy, and strong, okay? Make your way up to standing however it feels good for you, nice and slow. Breathe deep, head comes up, hands overhead. Don't let the ripple of this workout stop, okay? You don't want this to be the only thing that shows that you're working hard for a goal. Switch sides. Your ripple can be the inspiration that you are to your family, to your coworkers, to your friends. Your ripple can be the inspiration that you are to yourself, to the way you eat, the way you think about your mental health, your sleep, your hydration, all right? It's not only about the workout, but if the workout can start that puddle in the pond and ripple it out to everything you do, proves that you want this, we're going in the right direction. Gentle push forward, hands on your hips, gentle push back. Slowly come up, little hip circles to close it out. Support yourself, believe in yourself. I keep telling you, you're just scratching the surface of your true potential, okay? What would be easy? Go and eat whatever you want after this because you've made a decision to do a really hard workout. It would be easy, would it be pushing you forward? We know the truth to that, right? Don't justify. Don't accept your excuses when it gets harder because it will, it always does, especially the longer you've been doing it. Yes, you know how, yes, the practice is put in and you know what to do, what choices to make, how to track your food, how to get the right sleep. The more you do it, the more you know how to do it. But it's tougher as you go along to not think, okay, I've done well for this far. Now let me just, it's the weekend. Let me just ease up a little bit, right? Go hard, keep pushing yourself. Be motivated by the ripple that you've created in this workout, let it keep going in the way that you think about your mental health, your hydration, your sleep, your nutrition, and your stretching, okay? Keep moving, keep breathing, keep believing in your health, in your strength, and I promise that will push you to work for your happiness as well. I'm so thankful that you were here today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I want you to comment, happy, healthy, strong, in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you back here for our next workout.